It's a festival in the middle of nowhere. Rockerfield is a um, dimension of festival that suits Luxembourg. It's small, it's uh, international. Muddy, muddy, tiring and maybe muddy. culmination of, I would say, six months of work and uh, a two-day orgasm. It's definitely in the middle of nowhere. We want to avoid, you know, to be a hard rock festival or an alternative festival or a world music festival. We want to do a music festival. You find big bands on a small stage. So you can come very, very close. We had lots of different bands from Motorhead to Mumford and Sons, which are totally extremes. You try to have new bands or with a new album out. Then you want to have not only one genre of music, you want to be present in different genres of music, you want to address different publics. You reach a lot of, of people of all kinds of uh, music styles and uh, probably they discover some things, new things as well. And uh, So I would say for a festival that size in that area, it's pretty good. Also with the camping this year, no one died. Yeah, we are very small, but we can we can give something very special. Crazy Fabian running around uh, the backstage. Oh, here we are at the dressing room of Motorhead. But in fact, just Motorhead the band. Lemmy has his dressing room just on the other side. The band has just one Jack Daniels for the whole band. Lemmy has two Jack Daniels for himself. And Lemmy drinks no water. The doctor says he has to put ice in his Jack Daniels. 25 different riders <laughs> with uh, 400 different people who want to eat differently. We managed, yes, absolutely. We managed, it's just on Monday I wasn't alive anymore. <laughs> this is my space. So my fridges with the fresh stuff. The vegans, they have the red hot chili space bar. Bulmers, I have Carlsberg, I have Guinness. Gluten-free beer, it's the Patron Silver. They love it. I have connections to get that one. So this is the backstage catering area and a bit lounge. Most of the time when the weather is fine, nobody is inside. They're all sitting outside. Tomorrow night soccer. This will be every two years ago on the last soccer game. We had Beth Dito from Gossip and uh, the German Jan Delay. They were just like sitting here together and just and she loves Germany. In fact, she was for Germany. No drugs. I do not organize any, any, any drugs. Never, ever, ever. Women, I must say, they can get as many women if they want, just groupies. <laughs> It wouldn't be possible uh, with so less people if we wouldn't uh, absolutely know each other. It's family, it's a common sense, it doesn't, it sounds boring, but uh, uh, there are much of, there's much of, of, of pressure and uh, problems and etc. But at the end, we're still always together. And that's extremely cool. It's definitely a family. Uh, if it wasn't a family, I don't think that you would fit in the team. We uh, love each other, we respect each other and we fight each other. It's 15, 20 people that really work together, proud of them. Uh, it's, it's amazing how they can uh, bring so much uh, energy. No heavy, stupid uh, hierarchy, you know, it's, it's more of, I mean, Laurent trusts us in, in what jobs we are doing. It's like my brothers and sisters. Or let's say my kids. <laughs> we all are uh, what you call in Luxembourgish Kautzen. Fabian is the mom. We are all very um, particular and special is actually a bit too positive. The booking starts the f 
for instance, one act we hope to put on this year, we started discussing about it, uh, I would say, two years ago. Booking a festival is really specific. You basically allocate slots and you don't know if you will get a confirmation or if the band decides just to go on holidays. So it's, it's, it's not like booking a show, it's really more complex. And now you put it on two days, so it, it requires double the effort. Some aspects you do not control whatsoever. If you want to book uh, some band, I don't know, and it is not tour, well, you're not going to book it. Even if you like the genre of music or if it would fit perfectly, if the band's not touring, hey, you're not going to get it. Short night of sleep. Uh, Shout out to the Bob. Welcoming the band, uh, being the contact for the band, the tour manager. Hello? I have an additional doctor coming in. So you don't have to go and see. Yeah, it's stuff that happens. If the guy is sick, you cannot sing, you cannot sing. What do you want to do? How do you describe um, your work that you do during work? Rubbish. <laughs> Shit. Stressful. It's the main problem, it's always if it's raining. The rain is, is a pain in the ass. It, it, makes, it makes everything harder. Getting trucks out of the mud, getting trucks placed. The public reacted very well. Um, I think actually positively to it. Mud slides and, and whatnot. We pray for, for sunshine for next year, but if it rains, it rains. We proved that we have mud resistant audience in Luxembourg. I think they had fun because uh, like for, for Billy Talent, there was a lot of, uh, of stage diving going on still, you know, uh, no one had solid ground under their feet, but they danced and everything, so maybe it's part of a festival as well. We uh, get in touch with all the bands before their arrival, seeing what kind of technical equipment they need, if they have the people who will uh, do this during the show, if they need the people from us to do it. And uh, on show day, as you can see, it's uh, basically Tetris 3D uh, with, with bigger cases. When you're organized and you have a crew which stands behind you, um, it's no difference if what gender you are or how small or big you are. And we all try to, to, to get the best possible way in order that the show works. Can I say hi to my mom now? Hi mom, I love you. For, for months you work on a plan that you have for those two, two days and you almost you have everything in your head before you get there in the morning and then everything changes. Justice was um, complicated right from the beginning. It, it was not a, a new thing that happened on a Sunday. It just exploded on, on, on Sunday. It's a great band. Uh, it's great music. So we, we really love the band. That's why we wanted them to be part of the festival. It just happened that technically it didn't work out. When it came up in my office, it was too late. I had to take the decision, OK, well, it's not for today. Let's, let's, uh, let's stop it there. Um, we can't change the weather. We can change the breakdown of a, of a truck and if an artist uh, has three hours late, we can change it as well. So, it's, shit happens. There was another band where the truck broke down and so they had to play at another time, so basically the whole schedule changed. At that point, you need to go on with whatever is happening. I mean, we still had uh, six bands playing the stage that day. On Dropkick spielt the Justice slot. We finally talk one to the other with the management, with the agent, and we're still friends, so that's cool, that's really cool. of Rockerfield. I would love to see three days, I would love to see uh, more stages. That would be my ideal, is to have an, a tent. It would be great if we could have a bit, a little bigger place. 
I'm not sure if I personally would like Rock a Few to become a bigger festival because it's kind of intimate as it is now and um, and that's what I like about it and that's the same for the shows we have at the Atelier here, it's really intimate. We do this since years all together uh, and uh, no one leaves the team. Without them we would be nowhere, So, uh, but they know it, I don't have to tell you about it. Yeah, I really enjoy working with everyone and um, I hope it will go on like this for, for, for a long time. Without them my life would be crap. And on a serious note? I love them so much. Without them my life would be so crap. <laughs> We should um, continue that way. That's all. Cut.